All right, ladies. Welcome. Hi, this Ashley. Is- Hi. This Hi is, and welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Well, welcome back for me. I'm welcoming welcoming myself <laughs> back to. Uh, so this is Girlfriend's Happy Hour. Yes. I'm mm-hmm. Ashley. Oh, we're so out of order. I'm Melanie. Hi, I'm Monica. See, you having me start three off. <laughs> I uh, like having you start. I know. Well, That's I don't, good. I don't mind. Uh, we've saved a, saved a seat on the couch for you today. <laughs> oh, right by Ashley. Empty, right by me. You can snuggle. Mm-hmm. We'll get you a blanket. You can snuggle. snuggle. Well, I don't really snuggle, but... <laughs> You can snuggle someone else. Maybe Sadie. She'll want some snuggles. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, so I wasn't, I wasn't here last week and I, but I listened to the episode. You guys are awesome. You guys are hilarious. So I think Karen's a great guest. We, sh- we should have her on more often. Karen yeah. is a sweet. She was yeah. fun. She, she was so fun. You know what we should really do is what? give her, uh, take her on a surprise camping trip. <laughs> Cause that would go over so I, well. I think that she would. No, yeah. no, 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 no. no you don't she think just, she'd enjoy she just that? book it out of there. You'd surprise her she, and she'd be oh. gone. You'd never see her again. It's like <clears throat> I'm envisioning giving a cat a bath would be like us driving through the gates of a campground she would be just like ah, frozen and we couldn't get her out of no, the car she'd no. have like she'd be like uh gumby her arms yeah. would stretch no. out yep. grabbing the trees on either oh, yeah. side she's claw <laughs> marks and oh. she'd be hissing and spitting and it just would not be good no <laughs> so but ashley you had fun though you were you were filming yeah i filmed uh we filmed all weekend um saturday was saturday was a really long day um yeah. We filmed all until like one o'clock in the morning, and oh, then I had wow. to be on set on Sunday at seven a.m. Oh. So I really only got like four hours of sleep. So that was a little. But wow. you know what? That's all right. It's the business love, love what you, you do. Love. Yeah, I mean, we were all tired. It's like nobody was. It's not like I was the only one. Yeah. So, uh, but we we pulled through and we had a great day on Sunday and. Um, Bo- I mean, both days we filmed at the YMCA on Saturday in DeWitt. So thank you to them. We filmed. Um, I keep forgetting to turn my phone off. I'm sorry. Who is it? Okay. Who is it? It's George Clooney. <gasps> oh, my God. Tell him I said hi and to stop bothering me. He's a married <laughs> man now. Dang him. Dang him. That man, I swear. Um, then we filmed at a um, Super 8 motel. <laughs> nice. that oh, was, uh, that's what you're. Oh, that that's got to make your mom proud. Yeah, we're filming at the No Tell Motel down <laughs> oh, the road. Man. What are you well, filming? It was, it was supposed to be a shady location. Well, and congratulations. Boy, did we find one. Yeah, <laughs> I, was it so, on, on um, Washington? You said? It was Grand River. It was. It was uh, on campus. That one on campus. Oh, Either, okay. well, not quite on campus. A little, up, but yeah. Maybe we shouldn't disparage our local. Yeah. Establishments. No. Well, whatever. Our I mean, it was. Eights. It was fine, but it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't that. Marriott so Mm -hmm. um and then let's see Sunday we filmed at Ozzy's Kebab uh that was a that was they're awesome they're always um that family is very uh accommodating to us and their location so that's really awesome and then uh, wait wasn't that didn't you film smoke break behind that behind Aladdin oh so (laughs) so that's I don't know well it well they are no this with all the middle eastern restaurants like their brothers oh are they okay yeah I didn't know that Mo owns Aladdin's, and okay. so and then his brother owns Ozzy's, and he they, we've used both locations inside and out, and they're really they're really awesome. They let us you know kind of come and go when we want, and they're great. Love um, it. And then we filmed at the Exchange, Ooh. which was very fun, yeah. awesome location. It's a cool downtown, really really like cool nightclub, sp- kind yeah, of place. and really cool scene. Mm-hmm. Great lighting in there. Um, filmed like a like a live band port because it was a club or whatever mm-hmm. and that was really fun to to film so yeah I don't oh know you should it. ask michael next time you need a live band well play. and they had it's actually everybody in it did play an instrument but they just pretended and then because they used a different track like sure they were, it was quiet right but they were like jamming yes. out but then it was like because we used so uh, they were acting they were acting <laughs> like we acting. did as yeah. when we were extras we yeah. were acting yeah. we acted very well yeah, yeah. Did a good job. so that was fun had my friend had my friend tessa um come be the the bartender slash waitress for oh, the scene cool. so that was fun for to have her there yeah trying to get everyone involved so uh yeah it was great it was a fun weekend you're you're, you're basically building a posse i am I'm trying <laughs> that's so cool well i need i need a posse for when i'm yeah you know so like entourage. shots yeah. of you you know when we land in la or something you're in the front we're all behind you with yeah. dark sunglasses schlepping in your bags yeah. and stuff that'd be fun you could be turtle <laughs> from entourage, entourage. Yeah. okay i'm sorry i've never seen that <laughs> i have seen a little yeah, that bit of, of like 
What? Turtle? <laughs> Why am I doing this? Turtle. What so anyways, that was my fun-filled weekend, and you guys recorded while I was doing that. Yes. So. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So did. after listening to the recording, were you like, dang it, I, we, I wish I would have been in the podcast lounge. I mean, <laughs> I had so I had fun recording, I, but I also enjoyed yes. listening to your, your uh, episode, yeah. so. It's fun to, it's like, because it's like listening into your friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but also because you are part of this group, right. it's it's a whole, like you're kind of um, disassociated yeah. listening to that episode. Mm-hmm. So you have a, a good, like you can give us constructive criticism. Correct. Constructive. That we won't handle well, yeah. but go we ahead We won't anyways. handle it well yeah. at all. That's why we need our cocktail. <gasps> so let's, oh, yeah. let's do our cocktail of the day. All right. So okay. ladies, do you recall a couple weeks ago I no. mentioned I came across a fun tequila. I do remember. That I wanted to share. Yes. yes. Well, yes, yes. this tequila is called Casamigos. Mm. Have you heard of it? I have. Uh, I think so, It yeah. was... I'm sorry. I, do no, I need to raise I, my hand? I No, I just saw your Was eyes. it owned by celebrities? Yes. Was this the one that was owned by George Clooney and Randy Gerber? Yes. Cindy Crawford's <laughs> husband? Yeah. Well, ex, ex-husband, right? No. Oh, they no, they're married. married? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. So George Clooney and his friend Randy Gerber mm-hmm. started this uh, tequila company about five years ago, and it's called Casamigos, mm. and there were, I think, three different varieties, the Blanco, which is what we're drinking today, and then, um, I don't know, there's a couple other. <laughs> but anyway, there's we just the a few other, but we don't yeah. care about the others. Um, no, so kidding. what I made for us, it's called, I don't know, let's call it a... Hot and bothered margarita. Ooh, I like that. That's how George Clooney makes us feel. And And Randy Gerber is nothing to sneeze at (laughs) either. Former model. No. And we are drinking it straight up with a twist because that's the way we like our George Clooney. Darn (laughs) Randy Gerber. Oh my so, mm-hmm. um, and I made it hot and spicy with some jalapeno. Yeah, I used the tequila, and then I made a um, a honey syrup made with raw organic honey. And uh, where do you where, your brain just? <laughs> how do you do this? And fresh lime juice. Mm-hmm. That, that's the kind of thing I love. That's my go to margarita at home. I'll do tequila, the honey syrup. It's super mm-hmm. easy. It's just half parts honey and half parts warm warm water to you know to make the to make it yeah you know liquid and um fresh lime juice and oh and then i put in a squeeze of orange because i like that little bit Mm -hmm. of orange flavor Mm -hmm. with an orange twist rather than a lime i like that and it serves straight up for you know that reason i said with that's the way we like our george Clooney, Mm -hmm. and also I was out of ice. <laughs> <laughs> but also, oh, just no enough ice. to shake it up and chill it. The ice is gone. I so. love this because it is like, I mean, very natural ingredients, but mm-hmm. it tastes it's like a good. wonderful margarita mm-hmm. and it doesn't give me heartburn like some of those yes. other mixes do, which I love margaritas, but if mm-hmm. depending on where you go, I drink one and I instantly have gut rot and heartburn all in one yeah. and I can't drink anything else. So. Uh. It's the it's the sour it's mix a sour that mix. they use. Yeah, definitely. And a lot of times I'll order it and I'll say, "Can you cut that in half and just add club soda yeah. instead?" Right. Um, because I don't. It's just too sweet, or it's yeah. too like you said. It, it just, just makes you feel blah. Yeah. Blah. Um. So anyway, mm-hmm. that uh, it was really cool when I spotted it because I had seen him. I don't know. Have you guys seen the David Letterman? My next guest needs no introduction on Netflix. No, I've seen I've yeah. seen it, but I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, mm-hmm. so he did one with George Clooney, and Ooh. it was really good. I, I highly recommend it. you really? tune in if you like George Clooney, if you like Dave Letterman, uh, if you like them all, Clooney. And we, we got to meet uh, George's parents. They're so cute. They're sweet. They're, His yeah. mom was like a beauty queen way back yeah. in the day. His dad mm-hmm. was a news anchor. Yes. Oh, oh, you have to see. Monica, you have to, and Ashley, both of you, everyone has to see this. Okay. Because his house, like, he's got so many pictures. They're plastered all over the walls, like, all over. There's a room in the house that is, like, the George room. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, so it's it's pretty fascinating. Oh, so they go to, like, his parents' house? Or- yeah. So this, oh, that's this my next guest show with David Letterman, he sits and he interviews with someone and then they mm-hmm. kind of flash and he's David has gone on the road either previously or after. I don't know, but they edit it together. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that works. It's TV. It's I just don't know. It's too magical. I to only know out. podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he goes on the road and then they, they film little clips and then they interject them throughout the interview. Right. 
And so, yeah, David went on the road and he met his parents and, and this uh, boy that Amal Clooney had helped, you know, being a human rights right. lawyer. And um, and I'm, I don't, yeah, I don't know specifics, but anyway. Watch so it, it's good. Watch it, it's good. Okay. It, it kind of sounds like uh, comedians in cars getting coffee. Yes. Oh my gosh. I I, like it that. reminds me of that type yeah. of feel to it, which, which I really love. So I'll yes. have to take, check that out too. Yeah, I've only seen two. I don't know if there are only two out, but he did... Um, Barack Obama first, and then he he did the George Clooney, mm-hmm. and I don't I don't know if there's any others, but yep, it's really good. It's on Netflix because so, we all love Netflix. We all watch Netflix. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. So the, apparently they had sold this company just last year. Yes, and they are starting a new one with a new line that launches in April of this year. So they can own it for five, sell it for billions. That I it was seven hundred million, I think I read. Jeez. Oh my gosh! Yes, it's great tequila though. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm a tequila girl. That's my you're favorite drink. You're a tequila drink. gal. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All I love it. over. Um, but the new pr- the new line that they're doing mm-hmm. is is a mezcal, um, which is like a kind of a derivative of tequila. I don't right. know if you guys... I had never... I like. I don't even know what that is. So I've heard of it, it, but never had it. Yeah. So anyway, all kinds of things. Oh, and I did stop at that other liquor store that Karen had mentioned. Um, oh, on the one in... Episode. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah. A new, like... Mega bev. <laughs> That's what gets us excited. Our new liquor stores. <laughs> some some Here women it's shoe stores. No, not us. It's liquor stores. We wait out in line <laughs> in the morning for them to open the, for the first day. We're like, yeah, the new liquor store. It is too because I didn't have anything to buy. I was just driving by and I'm like, oh, <gasps> hey, Karen, I mentioned that place. And I walked in. I'm just and I'm browsing and and I said hi to the guy and i'm like yeah, yeah i've just i heard of, do you have a lot of cool stuff here <laughs> just looking <laughs> like, just just, just browsing and browsing. he's probably thinking browsing in a liquor store well i did buy a little something to add to our liquor cabinet for for next time okay. well there you go but yeah so that was good um so yeah what did what'd you do today monica um i'm sorry i'm watching wrapped up in big 10 basketball most of the day um <laughs> I know it's sad. I have no life. I was babysitting my grand dog today, so wow. he's a little pistol and a half. I tell you. potato, <laughs> potato. But he's yeah, he's. I did not pick the name again. I always have to oh, say I, that I love that name. Uh, great name. Do not. I love it too. She potato. Just, it drives her How crazy. cute is that? Just potato. not at all. Really, oh. nope. I think not it's cute. I like it. No. Nope. But you know, had no say in it. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty. Work <laughs> came home, did that, well, worked out. Yeah, Ashley had sent a message saying, I'm running just a little bit late. So I said, okay, Monica, you can come yeah. on over if you want. And you said, oh, I'm waiting for number three because I uh, can't leave the Can't leave the alone. dog alone. <laughs> for five minutes. No, because we, we had some incidents earlier. So. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll just move on. Yeah. He's a he's a sweetie, though. Aw. So, oh, thank you, guys. Mm-hmm. It got an aw at the same time. <laughs> well, we like bumpers. So how was your day, Melanie? What'd you do? What'd you do? Um, it was, let's see, I worked. Oh, I went into the office and I worked mm-hmm. and I got my new name tag. I was, was all nice. I had ordered a new name tag and uh, I had it on when they got here. So I'm like, this is just in case you forget who I yeah. am. I am and Melanie. And then Ashley says, hey, check mine out. So Ashley was wearing her name tag. <sighs> so yeah. I only have one with um, me. So. Well, and then I, I got home, and as we can see, like, suddenly yesterday, like my husband mm-hmm. said just now, he, he was riding his yeah. bike in, like, mm-hmm. short sleeves yesterday, yep. and today there is, we're supposed to get, what, three inches? Yeah. Like, I think up to four, yeah. Yep. Up to four inches? Okay. I don't know if we will. I know Jackson for sure already has a ton of snow. Yes, More snow fun. than we do, but. And that's Michigan. Oh, that's Michigan. Oh, yeah. Good grief. Yeah, because I, I, yeah, I took the dogs for a walk yesterday. Yeah. It was beautiful. I walked around, and I had, um... Wore a dress, no nylons, just a rain, a little rain jacket, you know. Mm-hmm. And today it was beautiful weather, boots, and mm-hmm. the winter coat, which has blue paint all over it from when we went painting with wine. <laughs> when we okay, so who's we and where? What did you, you paint? remember when we went painting for oh, the wine oh, drinking? When you say thing. painting, I'm picturing walls and rooms. No, and things. no, <laughs> you would think. By the way, I. Uh, you would think I was painting with my mouth or something because there's like I get my coat on I'm like how, did I how get the it hell out? did I get paint all over my coat that I was sitting on <laughs> who knows so yeah that's a mess so that was super fun we did like but, a wine and canvas event mm, yeah and fun. we painted 
um, that um, I did that canvas over there. And I think we're going to do that like pretty much every month with a little group of girlfriends. So yeah. um, definitely, Ashley, if you have a Thursday. I was going to say, free. if you could ever probably. <laughs> uh, yeah. No There's no telling, but maybe. Okay. There's just, we'll just no telling. We'll just keep a spare of the moment thing. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, really. That's all. Well, I had an exciting day. Okay. Um, our team was rewarded for being number one last week in our uh, occupancy race that we have over all of our operations teams. We're like, as far as like how how much work we do versus what you're expected to do, okay. and the highest percentage the team that gets number one out of like three hundred and something. This teams is at work. Oh wow! At work, get rewarded mm-hmm. with much like elementary school, a pizza party. <laughs> So wow. we were we were number one. We got a pizza party today. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> pizza. You know, like, so it was a great so day. Not, over not at gonna the reward J. you with money or vacations. <laughs> Instead, it's <gasps> five ninety nine pizza. And, wow, and it's funny. Thank and I, you and I, so much. And I love my company, and I sure. like that they reward yes. you. And and it was funny because uh, I remember what it was last week. Like if you if you personally get like one hundred twenty five percent average over a week whatever you get to a grab bag item Ooh. and like so i got goldfish crackers so that was exciting <laughs> oh my so, it just gets I mean, better it, it just and I like, gets better and i had to be appreciative of wow. course sure. but like at the same time i was like wow all right then goldfish it is you know what keep aiming high girl because it could be combos See? next time you never <laughs> know well there was also we also laughed because we looked in there and there was like little tea bags in there and we're like, isn't this free in the break room? So, uh, but but You're like yeah yeah. I was like, they must have ran out of some items. So we're like, we'll grab some of this. Throw Let's some go to the vending machine. Filters in there. And yeah. Oh, so that's happy. funny. Central. Here's a roll of toilet paper. So we are we were kind of laughing. Roll. We're like, I think that's <laughs> I think that's in the break that, room. You but, know what though? But you know what? It was we, nice of them. It so. is nice of them mm-hmm. because. I work for a company and I've been there. Tw- I, th- I just last week celebrated my 20th anniversary there. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Not even a uh, good luck. Congratulations. See? Here's an app. Nothing. Well, because the owners have changed hands like five times yeah. too. But, but the people you work with have been there. Exactly. And one of the other people that work there, um, like a couple weeks before it was their birthday and everybody was called up. They have his cake and everybody's singing and da, da, da. And I'm like, and I've been here 20 years and (laughs) I got bupkis. See, and that's why, yeah, Yeah. that's why I don't, and I'm not complaining at all. I just thought it was kind of, I thought it was entertaining. It it is very cute. If I got goldfish, uh, I would be thrilled. See, and I get, and I get a, I get another grab bag item, which is a little bit better this week and I get a water bottle. So, (laughs) Oh my God. So my on. friend in Phoenix sent me the funniest thing that she does. You know how you can go in the aisle where they sell the accoutrements for ice cream and you get a big chocolate, you know, one of those big like Hershey chocolate containers and stuff. The what? It grew- <laughs> accoutrements. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. $10 Uh-oh. word alert. We got a snort. I, every now and then I like to impress people with big words. But no. So it was one of those big, big bottles that held Hershey's chocolate. Yeah. And she, you know, they finish it off. So then she, you know, wash it and rinse it out. She fills it with water and takes it to the gym. <laughs> so and she's <laughs> working like out. She pulls this big chocolate bottles like squirting it. People literally <laughs> stop with her and just stare at her like, what in the hell You're is doing Can I have wrong? some of that? <laughs> That's actually, that'd be like an amazing social experiment. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Something like that. Just, That's really you know, funny. But that could be right up there with, I don't know if you've seen him downtown in uh, downtown Lansing, the gentleman who walks around with the box on his head. Have you seen him yet? I think uh, I saw that on Facebook. Possibly. Yeah. Like, what the yeah. hell? It's a, and he just walks around. He's got a little area cut out for his face. And all the other sides are like, um, there's like, they're, they to look like playing cards there's like yeah. a spade or a diamond oh, okay. and a king. yeah yeah he walks around town with that on his head i wonder who that is like what is he doing yeah, i don't know is he, he crazy or is he doing he a just, social experiment he could be well if he does he's pretty much put a lot of time into it because <laughs> <laughs> he every time i go out i'm like here comes the box that guy <laughs> that guy well seriously though like what if you like what if you emptied a jar or like a, a bottle of like tequila or vodka and then filled it with water and took that to the gym? Right. 
That'd be funny How to see if anybody fun would actually would that yeah. Be? yeah. One you time film that. One time I I, I should. <laughs> I usually hide it in my water bottle. But <laughs> yes. That's when we go to the movies. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh no, this is water. Mom can I have a drink? No. <laughs> Leave mommy's water alone. Mommy's special. Oh, water. I know, right? <laughs> Don't touch mommy's drink. <laughs> one time I did go to the movies dressed as a pilgrim just to see what would happen. But I think it it looked more Amish, so I think oh. it was maybe <laughs> nobody wanted just to. odd because yeah. I don't think. Well, I don't really know. Like, I don't know the rules, but I don't probably, think you're allowed to go to look, the movies. Don't stare at them. Just, just yeah. look, eyes forward. No, actually, yeah, I didn't. Nobody made eye contact with me, which was like a weird. But I it do. was a social experiment. I was like, yeah, people don't want to look at you they, if you're different. So, anyway, huh. that so that was my day. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, you do have a really good company. That's just hilarious. no, That's and they are nice. awesome. And it was just hilarious because we got an option too. Like, do you want an ice cream party? Do you want a pizza party? <gasps> want- oh my gosh! We had to vote. We had voting options. <gasps> oh, it's like a five-year-old's birthday. Yeah. I love that. So we so With goldfish yeah. crackers and all. That's the best. See? Honestly. <laughs> Well, that, seriously, well, the thing is, that is the best. I well, love Well, and we're all fired up. We're like, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so now we're like, every week we want to be number one. And next we're going to do ice cream. And then we're going to do bagels. And then we're like. And then we're going to, bam, we're going to show knows? everybody else. Because we really are. You we're, know what? We're t- our team's you, good. So we're either number one or number aim two high. every week. So. Aim nice. high. And it could mm-hmm. be Panera. Yeah. You never Ooh. know. Uh, probably not. It'll be Jackson <laughs> bagels. But <laughs> still. Um, well, I think I read something where. That that was there is like a study done on what motivates employees, and is it a monetary bonus yeah. or something such as a pizza party? Mm-hmm. And pizza party it yep. is. Well, I was gonna say like we're fired up for uh-huh. pizza party. I think if you we'd be even more so if uh, if it was an actual monetary uh, reward involved. <laughs> you know, if we're this excited for, that's for true. pizza and goldfish, then you know what? And how pathetic is this? I would be excited just for someone at one point to go. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. You know, well, that's yeah. how, isn't that's, that sad? No, when, you, when you're in a business needs- and, you, and as long as someone just went, hey, you know, great job today. It was really, really good. It, you know, I'd be like, I think I'd probably faint and fall on the floor. I think yeah. that's, so, that's a simple, I was, oh, wait, I'm always reminded of things like, mm-hmm. um, like if you just walk up to somebody, I think I read this, I don't remember who shared it on Facebook, but walking up to somebody and just like complimenting, like, yeah. hey, I like mm-hmm. your shirt. I just like can make somebody's day it's, just, yeah. just to like give a compliment yeah. or give, you know, it's just give the, a good job. Yeah. I like your hair or whatever. Just that little is. bit of kindness. Yeah. 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 Goes a long there way. There should be more of that in the workplace. Well, do. did you guys see, uh, it was just yesterday. It was here in Michigan. Um, this police, uh, blotter or whatever. It was like the community thing. Mm-hmm. Um, they posted this hilarious photo and with the write up of a call that the that the officers made yeah. about something in a park. And I was gonna read it. It's, it's do, so do, funny. yes, do. So let me pull it up. So it was um so basically like you, you click on it, it just shows a photo of a black uh, garbage bag like kinda hanging in a tree. Okay. Okay. And but can I can I um read this in my best Harry Potter voice? <laughs> do it. Okay. Earlier this morning, the Public Safety Department received a call from a concerned citizen who reported seeing a Dementor in Smith (gasps) Park. No! This is particularly concerning since everyone knows muggles can't see Dementors, and because our only officer able to perform the Patronus charm is (laughs) (laughs) off-duty. Further investigation revealed it to be merely trash. The Ministry of Magic assures us that all Dementors are accounted for at Asgard. Oh, good please to know. help! Oh, please help us keep the city beautiful and help trash find its home. <laughs> That's so hilarious. Oh. In the comments, <clears throat> I, it was funny because someone goes, "What is this?" <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if you don't have any concept, like my mom wouldn't know what that meant. Like she'd be like, "What is happening? What's going on?" No, Harry Potter is you would not get any of it. You did. You know what? You did. You pulled off a really good Rita Skeeter in that one when you did that. I was trying. Yeah. Well, I was trying to sound like um, in the movies when he gets a uh, oh crap the talking letter. <laughs> a uh, oh man. Oh my god! I, I know the yes. howler. The yeah, howler. The howler, oh. or even just a correspondence yeah. where yeah. she comes in and she. Ta- I was trying to sound like her. Oh, I, and you yeah. find yeah. out who she is in the last book. Like you actually meet her in person. Yeah. It's the lady who signs all the communications from the Ministry of Magic. <gasps> oh yeah. How, how nerd! How, nerd. Far down how nerdy are we? I know. I love it. Oh my gosh. 
much. I, but I, I just love that when, when <laughs> like the municipality or whatever, they, they have fun with things. Too. We have, yeah. And here in mm-hmm. our community, when our superintendent, he literally, he's hysterical because he puts on these full blown mm-hmm. things for snow days, you know, the school he, superintendent. Oh, yep. and he gets everybody involved mm-hmm. in it. Yeah. And it is just, I mean, we look forward even now as parents to snow yeah. days just to see the videos yeah. that he puts we, out. We got to see Mr. Hornick's yeah. video. He's just the best. Super funny. Super funny. That's he funny. is the best. I doubt we're going to have a snow day tomorrow. Yeah, kids. You know, and that's the thing. Like, it just started snowing. It's like, yeah. oh, do you think it, how much snow will get? Like, oh, wait, this is Michigan. It doesn't even yeah. matter. No. No, <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah. Hopefully this is the end, though, because my day lilies already coming up like oh yeah so, we such a warm streak and uh there's the best website if you ever want, are at work and you want to look like you're working but you don't <laughs> go to the smokinggun.com because that's where you can see ridiculous things like um all the rock stars and all that what they have on their riders for the concerts and stuff okay and there was the funniest story on there um earlier in the week that i was trying to find so i could get more details but Bottom line, um, these two gentlemen who were in their old enough to know better age, I think they were in their, yeah, their early 50s. <laughs> How old 50s. is for men? How old is that? Yeah. I don't know. That, does it ever? <laughs> I don't know if that's thing? an age. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the police had to come to the house because uh, one one of the male roommates was attacking the other roommate because he didn't properly seal up the box of Captain Crunch. Oh, <laughs> and hey, I don't got, blame him. No, and then That's a valid response. It got yeah. stale, and he was missing a lot of teeth, oh. so it was hard for him to oh. eat the cereal because it was too hard. So then he wanted his roommate to take out his teeth so he could see what it was like to eat stale Captain Crunch. And by this time, the whole fracas had exploded, and the police were called. Oh my gosh! Don't so. do meth, kids. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Moral of the story is yeah. um, that is hilarious. Yeah. This is one of my favorite stories. Oh my and gosh. then I wish there was a story to go with it, but one of the best pictures too that I have ever seen. And it happened somewhere in Michigan because uh last week we had one of those days where it was warm, but it was like super, super windy. Mm-hmm. And I think it yeah, was a wind advisory. Yeah. yeah. It was a city a little north of us. And um, I can show you the picture. This huge big boy sign oh, no. fell over, Poor and big boy. big boy, he just did a oh, face plant face right in the crowd, just oh. destroyed it. Poor the signs, did, and it was just all big boy, boom. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I was in Kalkaska. The okay. big old they, they, they say, well, the big old boy at big boy fell over here in Kalkaska. Oh, so I have yeah, family in Kalkaska. Did it? Do you? Do you? Mm-hmm. Interesting. You have to talk to him about it. Now you have something to say? I hope not. Yeah. (laughs) Hopefully not. So I heard about Big Boy. Everybody okay up there? (laughs) Yeah, all right. I heard about Big Boy, R.I.P. Hey, you guys, I have a, I I thought we could do like a fun little cute game. Games. Do we get, do we get prizes? Like, Like do we get like a a pizza party? I don't, I might have mini pretzels. I don't think I have any goldfish. Okay. (laughs) Um, so... I always get my kids little desk calendars every year, Mm -hmm. and uh, I found this one from two years ago that hadn't been touched (laughs) because they never, they don't care. You know what? I love them. It's my thing. It's my Christmas thing. I'm like, you get a calendar. And you get a calendar, (laughs) and you get a calendar. calendar. I do. I like the little far side daily ones, too, because then I'm always start putting them up on the board, even though they're really old yeah and funny. i try i gear them all to their different personalities yeah so apparently i don't know but i found this one in the bottom of a box in the closet of my son's old room so <laughs> apparently he didn't like it but it was called fact or crap oh i like this okay mm-hmm. yes so you ha- i'm gonna read you something and okay. you have to tell me if that is a fact okay or if it is in fact crap <laughs> okay got it so uh let's see mm-hmm. um Celebrophilia is the urge to be brainy. Fact. I will also say fact. It is crap. Ah, darn it. Celebrophilia is a pathological desire to be romantically involved with a celebrity. Oh. And it made me think, because I'm like, oh, I got to do this one because um, Monica A few years ago, you sent out a Christmas card. (laughs) (laughs) I did. 
<laughs> yes. I don't know well, what's going to happen. Well, she one every year. We do, the, we do the photo. That's the end. I would say that's it. You just send <laughs> out a Christmas card. Hilarious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we, we do the, the photos every year. And this Crazy, one. Crazy, silly ones for the most yeah. part. And yeah. this, and uh, the one you're referring <laughs> yes. to, I believe, is the one that George Clooney was in the yes. photo with my kids. Yeah. yeah. You know, his dad's actually been shown that card. <laughs> oh, no. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yep. So, yeah, that's it was funny. your girls. Yep. With George Clooney. Yeah. And just you, you were like, what did you say on it? Like, Merry Christmas from... Our family, you know, we had all of our names. And at the bottom, we put, and George Clooney. <laughs> and that was, and it was hilarious. I can't remember what movie it was from, but it was one of those big cutouts. And somehow yeah. it ended up, I don't even remember if it was my work or my husband's work, but um, it, well, it came right to our house. And we, you know, and that was the Christmas <laughs> card photo. And it was, we got a lot of, a lot of people like that one. But it was hilarious. the fact that we even signed George's name to it. So that's fantastic. But that was fun. And so I wanted to surprise you with it because I've been holding on to it for a lot of years. So I went in mm-hmm. and I pulled it out because I was going to show it to you and say, look, I still have it. And it was a different Christmas card from a different year. Oh, nuts. And oh, for no. months, like since we started yep. this podcast, I'm like, oh, one of these days I'm going to pull this this Christmas card out, the George Clooney one. But in my head, it was the George Clooney. But <laughs> Well, thanks for trying anyways. <laughs> that's that's good. Yeah. It's very cute. Oh, I went on your Facebook to look and see if I could find a picture of it. So send, if you see a picture of it, okay. if you know where it's at, send it to us and we'll put it on Instagram because okay. it's really funny. Okay. Um. So this one's kind of interesting. The scent of grapefruit on women makes them seem about six years younger to men. Fact or crap? I don't know why. I'm, it's just a yes or no thing. Do you want to go first? <laughs> it's, it's just so I much will pressure. say fact. I will as well. Fact. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Yes! We get goldfish. Do we? No. <laughs> you get okay. Grapefruit we get a drink. Scented, Yay! Whatever. Um, it it says, but the scent of grapefruit does not make men appear younger to women. Just sticky. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> That's great. I like that. Yeah, that's just great. <laughs> um, yeah, I that is that is really interesting to me. I'm gonna have to get some grapefruit perfume or something. Or just I don't give know. it, yeah, dab a little grapefruit behind your ear. Yeah. That's, hmm. Oh, I like that. That's mm-hmm. a good one to know. Okay, so here's another one the okay. most common plastic surgery performed on american men is a breast reduction yes because men get mo- the, moves their moves yep are you confirming that no, that's fact? i'm just oh. asking if you're fact no it is crap. monica says it's a fact it's moob moobs <laughs> believe me i'll say i'll say crap just to be different many but, times but have it, i been it, to the plastic seems surgeon confident, so well as of 2015 or however old this thing is it's crap is it <gasps> crap oh, crapped it's crap. is it their eyes nose reshaping is the most oh. common surgery according to mm. the latest report from the american society of plastic surgeon breast reduction is fourth interesting very interesting yeah and i think it's I think darn it i should have known that i mean i'm a regular i now am I, like yeah. emailing all the girls from the from the uh, plastic surgery place I go to. You're not even, you're like the bionic woman by now. I am. I could, you know, if someone asked me how many procedures that I had, because I'm freaking gorgeous now. Uh, no. <laughs> you are. I don't know that. It would take me a while to come up with yeah. them, you know? Yeah. Started with a tummy tuck and just went crazy from there. It's like, I call it Joan Rivers syndrome mm-hmm. because once you have it done once, mm-hmm. You're like, damn, that was good. And then you, then it's like, you can't, it's like getting tattoos. You just was, can't yeah. seem to stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I stopped. You, yeah. But you, I might have more, but I don't know. You didn't get obsessed. Like, oh, like you want, you knew whenever. I enjoy, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the process and most, for the most part, the result. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One more than the other, but. Yeah. Um, Do you want to share your tattoos? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't care. Uh, I have an X-Files one. On my back, uh, X Files slash uh, Nietzsche. Um, it's like a little ph- philosophical uh, word, amor okay. fati, which means love, fate, in Latin, and it's more of like a um, fate, not as in that it is like going to happen no matter what. More like it just is what happens. It's kind of like go with the flow. Mm-hmm. Just if enjoy I, what you what happens nice. in your life. It's your fate in the sense that it's um, your what what is happening in your life, your lively like cycle. But uh, it's mm-hmm. not that it was guaranteed. If I was to get something 
that wasn't like in English. My, you know, I think it, mm -hmm. you know, in my mind, it says, life is beautiful. Instead, someone would probably read and go, why do you have a tattoo that says f smelly feet? You know, or something <laughs> like that would be my luck. <laughs> but how many do you have? Well, and then I have one other one, which is a purple lightning bolt on my rib for Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But I don't like the way it looks. Yeah. So maybe I'll change it one day. But also, I don't know. It is still special to me because mm -hmm. Joanna, my friend Joanna, you met mm -hmm. Joanna, yeah. Yeah. she was Duh. on our show. Forgot she was on the show. Yep. Um, she and I got it together uh, before the last movie came out. So it's That's kind of so something, cute. It's something special that her and I did together. Um, yeah. So I. So it is special to me. That's in that very way, cute. So I, I, I wanted to ask Ashley real quick. Are you done with the the con or the contest? Are, are you? Finished? Are we done winning prizes and stuff? Is the contest over? <laughs> Well, no, I forgot what I was going to ask. I was going to ask you said, something. Ashley, I want to know if. Yeah. Oh, my God. It just slipped out my brain. Dot, dot, dot. Well, I, I was going to say that I, I've never gotten a tattoo before. Um, well, I do. I actually have five. And they're all blue dots around my boob. Oh, <laughs> from my I was like, hold on. What? <laughs> what does that mean? The world surrounding yeah. your nipple. That's yeah. really fun. Yeah. It's uh, telling the world that I'm a strong badass bitch but hell yes exactly. um anyway no but i've never gotten a tattoo because i've just like i never felt strongly enough about something mm -hmm. to know and like to make something so permanent and i'm like mm -hmm. you know but i really really want to now i've now i've got a bunch of ideas yeah. so it's like <gasps> oh. which one to do first well i think um they're both i mean they're both very special to me but my first one especially is really special to me um and i my next one will be uh will be like Stephen King related. Yeah. Um, just mm -hmm. because it's, it's things that have influenced me and in who I am today. Yeah. So I think to me, they're special and they're never not going to be special. That's pretty cool. So, uh, right. Cause people, yeah. you know, people like parents and, and mm -hmm. things like that, people like that will say like, well, you're not even going to like that thing in 20 years. And, and well, maybe you won't, mm -hmm. but you will always remember that at yeah. the time it was special to you. And it, and like you just said, yeah. it was part of who you are. It helped shape you as yeah. a person um, like I, my daughter and I, we talked to her first tattoo. We want to get kind of matching like Harry Potter tattoos because mm -hmm. we love Harry mm -hmm. Potter together. Yeah. And, um, I want to get, I want to get some kind of supernatural tattoo and I do want to get my butterfly. That's a kind of a little story behind that, that butterfly from. I don't even know how to say that story, so I'm not going <laughs> yeah. go into it right I now. Have, have but it's butterfly. about breast cancer. That's what I have is a butterfly. And what's special about mine mm -hmm. is that my daughter did it. Yes. So. See, that's great. Yeah. 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 Then daughter. I have an unfinished one on my back. Oh, is it unfinished? Yeah, it's a heart dripping blood, but it's from the Elton John song, Love Lies Bleeding. And I that's what I wanted to put in there or his signature or something. But right now it's I, just a heart with Right blood. now it's just an empty <laughs> heart, heart with people are like probably going, what, what does that mean? <laughs> this is farewell. Yeah. To her. Is she on the mm. list for a heart transplant or something? <laughs> or just <laughs> Yeah, because your daughter was a tattoo artist. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Very yep. cool. She's got way too many tattoos. She's got a lot. She has a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. thank goodness her boyfriend does too. Mm-hmm. Um, no, and actually, no, I wasn't done with my contest. <laughs> good. Okay. Because I didn't want to. Good. I want to win something. I had uh, I have two more. So okay. let's just do two more. Okay. Okay. So this one, um, people in Madagascar dig up the bodies of their dead relatives once every seven years, dress them in fresh clothes, and dance with them around the graveyard to live music. I'm just going to say crap because I hope it is crap. <laughs> Because that's I desperately, creepy. desperately hope that's not true. I'm. That's like something in well, the catacombs, you know. Well, that's so Ugh. specific that it makes me think it's true. However, Madagascar, I kind of thought that wasn't inhabited by people, so I'm not. <laughs> it's not judging, just cartoon animals. It's not just cartoon well, well, I yeah. love to shake your movement, movement, move 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 But I suppose if they are, they're not a super. Uh, <laughs> And more. I would think more. All right, so I'm I'm thinking about this too much. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say fact. That's so unlike you, Ashley, to overthink. Uh, yeah, never. Just never that really around for a while. I'll say fact. It is in fact fact. Well, that See? is crazy. <laughs> it says, okay, I'm gonna try to read this. Famadihana, 
Fam- Fama Dehana is a tradition still practiced among the Malagasy people of Madagascar today. Once every seven years, that's more than most people dance with each other when they're alive. <laughs> I know. LOL. 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 <laughs> Hashtag, I'm so funny. Um, yeah. That is weird. So I know, I, I don't know what else to say about that. Well, I like no, to dress well, them in fresh clothes. Well, yeah, I know in the catacombs, because my parents went on a tour of them in Europe and my dad had to leave. He started freaking out, but they go down there and they literally their, their dead relatives and family members are just laying out yeah, built in like the shelves built in stone on the wall. And they go in and they put fresh clothes on them and stuff. Yeah. Wow. That's like, yeah. Remember that? Oh, we've talked about it previously, but that one movie we saw in the theater as above and so below about the catacombs. Mm, that's a creepy, place. creepy movie because the catacombs are so, I don't know, just there's just so much happening down there. And it's that, just uh, such you, it's a oppressive and dead yeah. people. Oh, I, you could not pay me to go in there. Oh, I would go in there, but I would. Of course I you would, would. I would do it <laughs> with or without pay. Preferably pay. but I would be back at Nerve Center going, you okay? Because I'll send someone else in. I'm just going to sit out here in the sunshine. Got the headset. And yeah. The remote camera on you. Yeah. That'd be creepy. What was that movie we saw? These... The, the kids or the people went down to Mexico mm-hmm. or they lived in okay I don't I can't even explain it enough so okay. you know what I'm talking about so never mind the ruins they went into like a oh they they should pull never mind I honestly I can see it in my head vividly well now I want to know okay so the, <clears throat> maybe I'm getting do two you, movies mixed up do your up. best and I will try to decipher okay. it so they lived like in Mexico or somewhere really Remote, like that. remote, oh, okay. like weird, mm-hmm. like I don't want to say weird, just different. current time or past history, kind of current, you okay. know, whatever. But they lived down there. They lived in this crazy house with like, the, and there were kids, and then something the about the, died. The son got like possessed, and then I hate when that happens. Oh, maybe he died. He died, and then the daughter was trying. The son was trying to take the daughter to the. I it's called you- the other side of the door. Yes, that's the one. I told you. Come, you know, hang on a second. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Bravo. I, that's why I said it. I remember She just yanked that right out of you, didn't she? <laughs> I was like, just give me a little bit and I'll just keep pulling on that rope. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is it called? <laughs> the other side of the door. Yes, because in the end, the she door. went out into the middle of a, a mountain and... It's... They, right? She... Yeah, she took... She took her son's body, I think, Ugh. or something to this house that can resurrect him and she can talk with him, but you're not supposed to open the door. Yes. And if oh. you open the door, then you open the spirit world. Yeah. Yes. She did it because she wanted to hug him, but then of course, whatever. And then, yeah. Spoiler alert, I guess. I might have <laughs> maybe just given up, but. I, that movie came out a few years ago. So The other side that. of the door. Yes. I almost think I remember seeing trailers for that. It was very, it was a brief yeah. Brief life in the theater. It didn't last long. I don't think mm-hmm. it got great reviews. But I think we, it was just the three you, me, and Michelle. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And we saw it. At, at, yep. I remember. I remember where I saw it, and I remember little things about it. Well, so oh, here's. There it is. Oh, there it is. Monica's googling. It. It. it was okay. Google. It had some good good scares. I liked mm-hmm. um, I liked the location the movie was shot in. Like I, I think yeah. I think the location and like the, the it was pretty to look at because it was so different than other like just normal haunted house movies Mm -hmm. can i read a little bit about what it says on the movie yeah Yeah. because this ashley would would you recommend watching this (laughs) will they describe it better than i did okay so here we go (laughs) maria the mom becomes consumed with grief after losing her son oliver in a tragic accident she learns about a remote hindu temple where visitors can communicate with the dead to say goodbye for the last time the grieving mm-hmm. mother disobeys a <laughs> dire warning to See? never open the ancient door that serves as this mysterious portal. Her failure to follow the rules causes Oliver's restless spirit to return and haunt the rest of the freaking family because she couldn't stick with the rules. I told you. <laughs> That's what I said. It. Remember? That That's how I described looks it. Exactly. <laughs> it was like almost verbatim, wasn't it? That's exactly what She's she said. Amazing. <laughs> That is the coolest. I'm going to have to keep that one up and maybe see if it's on Netflix. So so last night I was like flipping through the channels and I was like trying to figure out what do I want to watch. Um, 
And I settled on Predator with Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger. The first one? The very first oh, one. Oh, yeah, that was good. Had and you so, seen it before? Oh, I've seen it as okay. a kid growing up. But it's up. still like, fun. It's still fun to watch. Yeah. And so, but I just decided, I always now, I guess the last few years, I always check on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm just curious mm-hmm. yeah. what what they got, what the score was. And I have to read you the, the synopsis, like the critic consensus, because mm-hmm. I thought it was funny. It says, Predator, part sci-fi, part horror, part action, all muscle. <laughs> Wow. What more do you need? What do you need? I don't need anything else. That's it. Jesse the Body Ventura's in it. Yeah. Yes, Arnold he is. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm-hmm. Carl Weathers. What yep. do you need? So anyways, I, I thought that was very funny. Um, also, I got 80%. So. Oh. I love Go that Arnold. movie. I do oh, yeah, too. And I, I just was like, oh, interested what it said. And that's, mm-hmm. that's fun. I'm like, great. You don't need to know anything else. That's all we need. Mm-hmm. Right there. Boom. Done. Well. So I'll, which leads me to our final fact or crap Man, question. we're getting a little bit uh, all over the place now, but that's okay. Well, no, it's good. I like having the discussion about yeah. each each fact or each crap fact. True. <laughs> okay. Crap fact. Watching a horror film burns three times more calories than running three city blocks. Fact or a crap? Mm. Mm. You guys fact. really think these I'm sorry. Are. I'm just trying to pretend. I'm just, it's just a shot in the dark. So I'm going to go fact. Just because if your heart gets racing, you know. I would say it's about heart racing. Adrenaline. Adrenaline. Going. Because if that's true, then I would do that instead of running. Well, any see, day of the week. And I'm not scared, so it wouldn't work for me. Yeah, I'll, that's true. I'll say oh. crap, though, just to. Okay. It is, in fact, a fact. <gasps> <gasps> I figured it probably was, but. It, says, it seems like it would be not correct, but it says you burn approximately as many calories watching a horror film as you would running three city blocks or taking a 30 minute walk. The Freddy diet. <gasps> oh, that was a good one. I, I, I think every afternoon we should all just watch a horror movie and it's like an hour and a half worth of exercise. Yeah. And Boom. There you go. Yeah. I, I also think maybe it's the whole like you're tense the yes. whole time, you know, because yeah. you got the isometrics going. Right. Maybe. It's like your body Heart planks. Racing, isometric. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. I st- it wouldn't work for me. That's all I'm saying. I know. Yeah. I, 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 know. I will have to run. I've known you long enough. Do you, are, is there a movie that actually makes, that scares you? Like, not today. Um, <laughs> like, I mean, like when oh. I was a kid or, or like, but you <laughs> know, I mean, there's but movies that have scared me in the past, but like mm-hmm. as m- the person that I am today, <laughs> okay. there's nothing specific. The Conjuring okay. probably was the movie that yes. most recently that I really fun, enjoyed. Those are aren't they? Yeah, um, those are fun. I think like get out, I think wasn't scary, but it, it had yeah. me, oh. it had me going. Like I was yeah. on the edge You're of my like, seat. What's like what's happening here? Edge of my seat yeah. probably. Like my heart was probably pounding, yep. but not in like mm-hmm. a scared way. Like right. what is going to happen way? So that mm-hmm. movie, I think, um, when I was a kid, the exorcist was the one that I couldn't watch. Yeah. But, I don't like devil stuff. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I think, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that her hereditary movie. Maybe that'll be. Oh, that one. Yeah. That looks good. Uh, yeah, every part of that trailer was just like, what the yeah. f- what's going on? I like, I like movies like that. Yeah. That are very thought provoking and you don't necessarily know what's happening the whole time. Make, mm-hmm. Take a couple watches for you to figure everything out. I like that. Mm-hmm. And then to the very end and you're like, what? Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. That's why I like watching horror movies with Ashley because she's a calming presence. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> I'm jumping and grabbing legs. Yeah. No. That's me. Yeah, calming and analytical. And yeah. I'll explain everything to you at the yeah, end. Yeah, she'd be like, <laughs> I take my I, I, I'm yeah. watching it. Yeah, as we're like almost having heart attacks, she'd be like, I think I saw a reflection of the cameraman in the in the uh, you know, China cabinet back there. That is true. I am. I, I do still enjoy movies, even though like I I might notice things. I yeah. If I'm well, like if the I'm booms, in, if it's the a boom good mic's movie, hanging down. Yeah, if it's a good movie and I'm into it, I will be separated from like the filmmaker like. Mm-hmm perspective i think for the most part but if it's like not a great movie then i will start to like pick out things like well they should have done that or mm-hmm. whatever not that i'm some expert but you know you, oh, do you notice know. things if you if you understand yeah. it so. well oh so when we were sitting in the damn front row to watch winchester um there were people sitting right next to us mm-hmm. in in the intro before they start the movie the filmmakers come on and, and they're showing like you know, scenes like flashes of behind the scenes, yeah. like filming, like when the guy smashes in the wall and this and that. And the people next to me were so pissed. They're mm-hmm. like, what? what? You 
know, and they were just like throwing up their hands like, oh, my God, you know, because they wanted to go into the movie not thinking about, oh, how that did is they funny. They did it at the beginning. They yeah, they, I think they were just saying, hey, we had so much fun filming our movie. I hope hmm. you enjoy. And and uh, do you remember yeah. that part of it? Yeah, because we watched it. It was anyway. weird. <laughs> but uh, that reminds like so the first time I was about nine years old when I was going to watch exorcist for the first time and it was like the 30th anniversary so it was the dvd had this like little behind the scenes thing before the movie started mm. like it was like little previews and it showed certain things from the movie and it showed her face like transforming into like what it ended up being and that's as far as i got was that opening and i refused to watch it after i saw her face transform yeah so which is probably good for me because i might have had nightmares which, Which I really wasn't afraid of anything as a kid, but for some reason, yeah. like that face and like the devil aspect of it, because I grew up Catholic, that I was just like, nope, I'm out. See, that movie almost turned me Catholic. Yeah. I'm like, wow, <laughs> they do exorcisms. I might need to join this church. I didn't know you grew up Catholic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have I went to catechism. I, no? I had first communion. Oh, I might have I got that. confirmed when I was okay. 14 or whatever. I forget what. I was always envious of the girls who had got, you know, confirmation because you got to wear the pretty little white wedding gown kind of dresses oh. and all that <laughs> methodists don't That's, do that i'll uh, say what we don't do well that. i i was talking to somebody about this the other day how like you know i grew up doing all that stuff and like we had to have rosaries and then we'd have to go sit in like the booth with the priest and like confess to something that we did wrong and i'm seven years old and i'm like i'm sorry i mean to my sister mm -hmm. like i don't what am i yeah. seven what am i supposed to yeah. confess to like i've done nothing mm -hmm. so be like Say four Hail Marys, say four Our Fathers, and then go. You know, so it's kind of funny because, like, I mean, even though I grew, like, I, you still don't understand it. And by the time, yeah, in per, me personally, and then yeah. by the time I'm 14, you're supposed to get confirmed, and then you're old enough to understand, and then you now you're confirming to your faith. But it's like I don't have a choice either way, so I had to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's not like I could be like, well, I get it now, and I don't like it. I couldn't say I, that's not an option. No, so you mm -hmm. just have to do it and. Mm -hmm have oil on your forehead and do this the whole time because it's like sacrilegious to wipe it away. So <sighs> for like a whole hour of a mass, I was like, mm, don't get in my eyes. It's in my eyes. <laughs> Which I, I was like, is this how it always is? I don't understand. Literally like mm -hmm. close my eyes this entire time. I remember when I was a little girl going to a wedding for the first time, we were sitting near the front. And everybody was, you know, they did decided to do a mass at the mm -hmm. wedding, which apparently that happens sometimes. And everybody was drinking out of the, the wine. same chalice. Yeah. And I remember oh. saying, apparently a little too loudly, <laughs> <laughs> they're sharing each other's germs. Somebody's going to get sick. And the priest just looked over at me and my mom turned like nine shades of red. Oh, I can see your mom. Oh, yeah. And I'm like thinking, why are, what's why aren't you thinking this? And it's, oh my God, did I get one of the mom pinching? Remember pinching in church when you were like being too loud? Oh my God. You long suffering mother. I, oh, I know. Geez. Bless her heart. We were, always, <laughs> we were always good in church. I, yeah. 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 <laughs> I would I would be actually sitting and play hangman in church. That's like, yeah. 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 No, we had, we had to do the. I had to entertain myself. I remember being excited when my mom was like, okay. You can drink the wine. <laughs> right. I, I've been oh, going yeah. here all these years waiting for my yeah. chance to the drink the wine. The body and blood of Christ. Yep. I want the blood. Yeah. <laughs> Methodist <laughs> is grape juice. Yeah. No, it was wine. Oh. Yeah. You went to a fancy yeah. Well, I went to like a really Catholic, like uh, like the choir up in the bleachers singing hallelujah, really angel-like. Oh. We, wow. we would go with my grandparents to the one that's downtown Lansing that's super like. Oh, yeah. Super Catholic. Oh. So I think really that's old, the name of it, buildings. isn't it? Uber Catholic. <laughs> that's what I always called it. <laughs> the Uber Catholic. Uber we were, my husband was raised Catholic and we had gone back to Wisconsin for his um, mom's funeral. And of course they were doing a mass. And as he's getting up to go up there, I'm like, that's real wine. That's not great. He's like, oh, thank you for telling me. I'm like, okay, don't, don't drink it. Did the funeral last as long as the drive over there? Yeah. <laughs> Catholic funerals. So long. Catholic funerals are really long. Mm -hmm. Reading scripture. I read scripture for both my grandparents' funerals. Aww, um, that's nice. Which was I don't know that I the, the that. last time I like I haven't done anything Catholic except for like yeah. those instances. So. Mm -hmm. That's got to be tough. Yeah. Well, I must like none of my other family members would have done it, so I was. I'll do Good it. Good for you. Yeah. That's our girl. Okay, She's a strong a little girl. Actor. Yeah. That's why you just <laughs> yeah. suck it up and, and you go up there and getting I'm in character. Yeah. I have for real. I so you get done have, and seen. <laughs> yep. No, you do. <laughs> Remove cool. yourself from the situation and just do it. There you go. Yeah. I'm good at that. 
so yeah <laughs> but anyways this why did we talk why, what happened oh exorcist i'm like yeah. why are we talking about and there we veer off we're, we're just like yeah, i know <laughs> yeah yeah that's so. still i just don't right. like that. well that was a fun game yeah. i enjoyed that i did too i'll come up with some more some different little games we can play okay. now and then okay. we talked we talked about doing this a long time ago and mm-hmm. you know just things happen things happen yeah, we yeah. still have had lots of different fun things to talk about yes yeah. Um, so we, you know, we didn't do a cheers again. I think the cheers now we're doing it at the end. I think so. Yeah. I think that's Because we forget to cheers in the beginning because we're already, we started drinking. We just, yeah. we just started drinking. I mean, all yeah. Who, who's, who's kidding who? Yeah. I yeah. walk in and I hear the shaking sound. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yeah. let's go. <laughs> it's the most beautiful sound it to is. your ears. Mm. It is. All right, ladies. All right. Well, this was fun. I'm glad you were back. Yes. yes. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Oh, yeah. We should say goodbye instead of just like slugging our drinks down. <laughs> Barkeep, another round for my friends. So, yes, thank you for joining us in the podcast. Uh, we're going to go back to drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Remember to, if you if you enjoy our podcast, please go to iTunes or wherever you listen to podcasts and um, subscribe and, you know, give us a, a rating. Uh, we'd love a five star rating. That'd be the best. That, that'd be the best. Thank you. Yes. Five Come on, best. India. Step up. <laughs> Give us a five star rating. <laughs> and and you know what would be even cooler is if write us a review. We would really love it. We would love yes. to hear your feedback. Um, so, but thanks so much for joining us. Thank and you. there's always a seat at the bar for you. Always. <laughs>